The ceasefire is ended. Combat operations resumed overnight after Israel accused Hamas of violating the truce and warned residents to leave parts of southern Gaza. Plus, there is a new report that claims Israel had an intelligence report about the Hamas attack months before October 7th, but dismissed the report. Chief Global Affairs anchor Martha Raddatz has been tracking this overnight. She joins us now from Washington. Good morning, Martha. Good morning, George. From the moment the attack on Israel began, it was clear this was a massive intelligence and military failure on the part of the Israelis. But this report, which dropped overnight, spells it out in horrifying detail. This morning, the horrors of October 7th, the lapses in security, the planning by Hamas laid out in a stunning report. The New York Times saying that Israeli officials had the Hamas battle plan in their hands for more than a year before hundreds of Hamas fighters stormed into Israel and slaughtered more than 1,200 people. But the Times says the Hamas plan was dismissed by the Israelis, who believed it would be too difficult for Hamas to carry out. According to the Times, Israeli military obtained a 40-page Hamas document last year, which they codenamed Jericho Wall, calling for a barrage of rockets at the outset of the attack, drones to knock out the security cameras, and automated machine guns along the border. Nearly the exact scenario that played out on October 7th. The Times saying Israeli intelligence dismissed the plan as aspirational, but Hamas followed the blueprint with shocking precision, reportedly practicing breaching the gates and storming a kibbutz, paragliding into the communities, all of which the world saw executed with lethal precision on October 7th. The IDF showing me where the Hamas infiltration began, just as the report said it would. This is the gate where the Hamas terrorists broke through one of 30 locations where they gained access. But the Times says one Israeli analyst tried to raise a red flag on the report just three months before the attacks. An analyst for the Israeli intelligence agency warning, it's a plan designed to start a war, adding it's not just a raid on a village. Her warning dismissed. 